day, people. In today's 53, Meridian High City Blue Side. Exterminatus is a Chaos Sorcerer, offensive and disruptive hero with powerful battlefield manipulation and control, the Alpha Legion Elite Scheme. Alongside some naughty Imperial Guard, first up is Saint Kelly with a Lord Commissar, strong offense and support factor. The melee combat begins with a Refractor Shield, and rounding off his team is an Air. I think, with a Lord General fights in ranged combat begins with a retinue of stormtroopers seems to be a bit confused about where to go. This guy has very strong defense and support and the Death Core of Krieg DLC army scheme. Red team, we have this fella, which translates as pacifist apparently, according to Google, so we'll go with that. A warlock, a melee spellcaster that can leap into combat, some powerful disruption and support. Alongside some space marines first up, Metal 04, with a Force Commander, very good offense, fact in melee combat, can also tank, disrupt and support with buffs, Dark Angels, DLC. And rather off the team's Dragonis, gonna kill a Sorcerer I think, there we go. With a Tech Marine, starts off in ranged combat, puts out some good damage, and can also support the structures and repair the Salamanders Elite Scheme. I thought those tacks were gonna stay in melee. Good old Meridian High City, seems like it's been a while since I've casted a game on this map. Typically, you'll have little skirmishes in the north and the south early on. And then a glorious pile of death in the middle. I don't think, it, look at this, nodding up and then power genning the contested power. I don't think you need to do that. You have very natural power points on this map, two of them per side. I think it's more important to try and grab on and hold onto these rep points. Seems like a bit of a waste there. There's a late cap on that by the red team, actually. Sorcerer down then, and here comes the Force Commander to help out. Clean up some CSM, you have double CSM for Exterminatus. Pacifist, oh, he's gonna drop the Banshees here, I think. Too close to the Commissar, couldn't retreat well, and they get stomped and shot to death. Warlock is pissed, gave up his cap, he's so pissed. Gonna jump on these fellas, yep, and then run away. Metal Zero with Tactical Marines. Dragonis, double Tactical Marines. So, double Kraken bolts for the double CSM. Sentinel does have to stomp, as we saw. In air, we just double Guardsman, though. Straight into Catachin's or a heavy weapon squad. There it is. Center being capped by scouts who already have their sergeant. Will they try a cheeky grenade on the Commissar? Nope. They're just going to back off. That double handed sword swing there. St. Kelly with some more Guardsmen up now. Knocked back by the Force Commander. There's the battle cry. You see that damage buff going down. And that'll stack up every time he does that special attack there. 15% each time. Decent stomp. They all gathered together for the stomp then, didn't they? Not sure what that was about. These guys have a flamer. Maybe they were trying to get in there for a grenade, those fellas. It was a really good stomp, though. Force Commander needs to be careful. Las guns eventually hurt. There he goes, he's running off. Flamer getting close. Out of cover though. Should run up to these tank traps and get some heavy cover. Drops a model. Drops another. Very determined to roast some heretic guardsmen there. Dragonis with some devastators. Got them out pretty quickly. No power spent aside from that. Assault squad now for Metal 04. Banshees were replaced by Pacifist. And Blue Team have stolen that Northern Power. Big mistake by Pacifist to build three generators there. They've been taken and uh, they're sitting back quite a lot, I think. Tactical Marines will cap the mid for Dragonis, or at least try to. Sorcerer has the vestments of the warp and an aspiring champion for the heretics. Bad news for these tax now. No Doom Blast. I think it's smart. Wasn't gonna. Oh, might have got a model actually, the Doom Blast. But generally, people can overuse their Doom Blast on their heretics. If you're not gonna get a model and something's in retreat, no point losing one of your models. I mean, you might extend their stay in base healing up, but I don't think that's worth it. No Eternal War for these guys. So he could have a reasonably quick tier 2 for Exterminatus. There's a jump. Assault squad with their jetpacks can disrupt and initiate engagements incredibly well. Banshee's coming in to support. 
Lord General's in a bad place. The Guardsman there might not escape five hit points. Bolt pistols could be enough. No, not enough. Do they still have the flame up attacks? Yep, they're still alive, so they could go for a power bash. As I said before, it can be very difficult to get them on this map. Guards are now being tied up. There's the battle pride. It's a good stomp, though, again. Banshees on the prowl. They have their aspects of strength. And Garzan will be pushed off here. Tier 2 for Dragonis, the first player to go. Did they? I don't think they dropped any tactical marine models. And Hero the Devastator is now decap by the Sorcerer and gets away. It is noted up there. Do we still have, yes, still triple gens for the blue team in the north? Big power advantage here. And they translate it into some early heavy hitters in tier two. Doom blast and run. Maybe get on the power now, fellas. Looks like they don't want to. They want to stay. I mean, it's not a mistake not going for the power because it allows you to stay in the field. If you go for the power, you're definitely going to be forced off. You might get the power, but you're definitely going to be forced off. If you stay back, you can stay in the field for a long time. Banshee's trying to solo a sentinel with a bunch of support for said sentinel. Didn't work out very well. Do you all have your sergeants, fellas? You do. Tier 2 all round. Dragonis just hit it. And I think he's purchased something already. Looking at his resources. Oh, maybe not. Nothing was queued up. 466, 472. Seems like maybe they're saving up for a dreadnought over there. Oh, good grenade on the sentinel and gets it. Nicely done by Metal04. Lord Commissar has found some devastators to get some vengeance, but has to run away. Destructor. Immolator is in the Warlock's hands, and there's a jump. A good thing that jump came in, because the Warlock was getting pretty low there. Still a bunch of Guardsmen around. Tech Marine just sitting behind cover with his bolt gun. Starts off with a pretty good one, 33 DPS or so. Triple four to 472. There's the Immolator from the Warlock. No friendly fire. These Assault Marines will be fine. And then he retreats off. It's a big retreat there for the Warlock. Got to run a hell of a long way back to base. These guys reinforcing. Steel blue power with a heavy weapon squad covering it. 435 four, to 472. Oh boy, plasma guns all of a sudden for the assault marines to deal with. Somehow, they didn't drop a model there. Hold on, fellas. Lord Kamosar's found a Xenos power claw. You find him laying around everywhere in the 41st millennium. Just tripping over power claws. These guys are going to grab the wreck point. Still noted there. Do you all have plasma guns, fellas? Those two do. And those two are getting them. It's a lot of plasma. If you get the sergeant and the commissar and plasma guns, they can outshoot a hell of a lot of marines relatively efficiently. Look at that. When the Yaksart came in, she was not suppressed. So she could just sprint into those guys. Still going to be forced to retreat. But that was pretty fun. These guys are just out of cover taking plasma gun shots, fellas. Come on. Codex Astartes. I don't think it tells you this. Run away. There we go. Just buying time for a grenade attempt there, maybe? Double Lamarck or Zinc CSM is that? It is. And a ton of war and their aspiring champions. Sudden power spike in tier 2. And Chaos can do this in terms of damage output because they have those marks on the CSM which really it's a massive upgrade in terms of DPS and of course you can come out swinging with Mark of Corn as well so big power spike now for the Chaos Army although they're still with three units Assault Cannon Dreadnought for Dragonis and a Chimera up for an air support vehicle for the guard can transport units around and reinforce them. You see those guys just piling in there. How did you get 36 guardsmen into the Chimera? Here we see a warp spider squad with a haywire. Can they deal with this Chimera right here, right now? They don't have any other anti-vehicle weaponry. Melter bomb on the way for the assault squad. Not sure if it will get up in time. They're just piling in with everything they have. 
very inefficient way to take down a Chimera, but it's going to get the job done. Nicely done by the red team there. That Chimera did not last long. Lots of dead guardsmen too. There's a drop pod coming in. Oh, that's the Vox operator. It wasn't a drop pod. I think that was the Vox operator calling. Yeah, you already used a drop pod, I think. Metal Zero. Yeah, there it is. 417 to 472. Good passage of play by the red team. Early vehicle wipe. Just at the right place, right time. Got the haywire and just piled in with basic melee attacks and piercing damage. And it was enough. Almost so I went down as well. Another Chimera now for Enair. Wraith Guard for Pacifist. Warlock's down. Oh, in there. And we see the Sacred Standard Force Commander giving that crazy 40% buff when he's down. Dragon is not too bothered about reviving them in a moment. Ah, oh, it's an Assault Cannon Barrage was quite nasty on those CSM. We do have Havocs with the Mark of Zinch for last cannon shots. Got a couple in. Now being flamed up though. Needs to run away. Got Plasma on the other tacks. Looks like they are now getting revives. Bunch of XP for the Tech Marine. There's your Wraith Guard. They have those short range but very devastating AOE Wraith Cannons. Also suppress infantry. Good damage to all targets. And they'll help deal with the second Chimera. Are the Warp Spiders still here? No, they're in re retreat. Has a fist back down to two units now. Blue team still have that full power farm in the north. I mean, they still need requisition, of course, to spend it. Chimera's taking a lot of damage. Wraith Guard exploding everything. One more volley would do it, but it's moving and escapes. We have a Bloodletter Demonic Circle, Circle of Summoning, whatever it's called, from Exterminatus. Last cannon shot, can they get... No, they can't get forward and kill it, they die. To plasma gun tax. Havoc's down. Big losses all around. Falcon on the way now for Pacifist. And tier 3. St. Kelly's already there. Metal Zero goes. Dragonis already there as well. The Dreadnought lives. Level 2. It's done well. Capping the mid is St. Kelly now. A bunker to support these heavy weapon squad fellas. Doesn't seem like it's got the medical upgrade on it though. Is that stubbornness? It is stubbornness. Pretty good accessory. Are you going to creep forward? I guess not. They're going for the VP. And look at that. Pouring in that Inferno Bolt of Fire to the Force One. It did so much damage. But then run away from the Dreadnought. They got the cap though. Nicely done by Exterminatus. Goes Tier 3 as well. It's going to be Pacifist still in Tier 2. Chimera getting really far forward. What are you doing? Guards on popping out, that's what they're doing. Lots of plasma gun fire. Doesn't seem to be much in the way of anti vehicle right here, right now. Lord Commissar trying to chase down the Dreadnought, maybe. Falcon coming in. This thing does have decent anti vehicle weaponry, so it could shoot down the Chimera if it gets close. Especially if it gets on the rear armor there. Pacifist getting some Dire Avengers to help support the Falcon, which is taking a lot of damage here. Oh, down it goes. The Commissar was on it. Sloppy play from Pacifist. Should have got that thing moving. Walk Spiders level 3. Commissar almost level 5. Chimera survived for now. Here comes a Lehman Russ for St. Kelly. And a Predator Tank for Metal 04. Can they get a Land Raider Redeemer, those guys? Typically a game changer in a 3v3 on a map like this, a meat grinder map, land raiders are insanely good. Big old firefight now. Melted gun, Lord General. Very satisfying barrage from a dreadnought. Look at those kills. Up into level 3 now this guy. Down goes a Chimera. 
and there is down to a single unit and it's in the north yep St. Kelly said back up son way too blase with his chimera multiple times in there and it eventually pays for it go on Wraith God Wraith it up survived the volley well done fellas I didn't survive the second volley took out a couple of Chaos Space Marines here comes a flank from St. Kelly maybe just stopped there he goes he's going for the dreadnought I think to try to tie it up with nothing else and now have a predator tank to deal with of course one goes down even Russ can deal with it maybe chaos predator for exterminatus and they carry an air here for him to recover land red redeemer on the way for dragonis there it is Tank fight, Lima Russes generally win those fights. 1200 hit points, that's why. And a heavy turret dropped in. Can it finish off the Dreadnought? It's not firing. Need to tell it to fire. Sometimes turret needs, turrets need to be told what to do. Or they just do this weird twitchy thing. Dude, your hero. Down goes the Lord General. And there is a. Uh, Having trouble keeping track of stuff, I guess. Look at the resources that Pacifist has. He needs to go tier 3, buddy. Force Commander still down on this little ledge. Fire Dragon's on the way for Pacifist. Help fight the Lehman Russ Brigade, I guess. Second one already on the way for St. Kelly. And this turret is not firing. You need to target something with it. There we go. Big chunks of health coming off the Predator tank. But I think the turret's going to go down. Oh, maybe not. You can't really take it down with flamers. I'm not sure what these tactical marines are trying to do. These turrets have vehicle armor. And down goes the Predator tank. The turret got there in the end. We have Executioner Lehman Russ. And a Vanquisher Lehman Rust from St. Kelly. And there's your Land Raider Redeemer. Taking Lasgana shots from the Havocs there. We have a non-marked Chaos Predator. It needs to prove itself first. Can they get this thing? Where's the other Lehman Rust? There it is. Doing a lot of damage to it. Can these guys creep forward? They're trying to. Sorcerer is not around to do any warp trickery and get the last cannon closer. One more shot, maybe when it sets up, it does shoot immediately. Alright, oh, can't quite get it done. Being chased. Unfortunately for Exterminators, you can't give your Chaos Predator a last cannon without locking it in place for a few seconds. Chaos upgrades, Chaos marks are typically quite quick, but of course you are super vulnerable while they're happening double missile launcher tactical marines now for metal zero he's sick of all these vehicles so tough though these demon russes and that is a rocket run out can he wipe out the tacks wiped out one of them and got very close to wiping them both out those guys are level four it's the only reason they survived here comes an orbital after the assault kind of barrage as well Messes up a bunch of guards on the, and kills the Lord General again. Chaos Predator goes down. Stayed up there way too long. And the attacks have their missile launchers back. Dragonis also going double missile launchers here. But I guess Mythal Zero only has one of them now. Do they have the Land Raider as a retreat point? They do. Dreadnought still around. Level 4. This thing's been awesome. Maybe we'll see a venerable. It's Thunderhammer Force Commander time. These guys were not amused and run away. Mid is blue. This thing's showing its rear armor now. Which is not great. Some guards on here for support. Repairing stuff and a heavy weapon squad. Pacifist still in tier 2, buddy. Floating like absolute crazy. I think we have a newer player here. We well, have to start somewhere. Scouts got the decap. Well done, fellas. 
has a decent shot. Missile actually getting hits in now. Red team being very blasé with their tactical marines. Not often you see this much damage going on tacks. Oh boy, down they go. That was a vanquisher cannon shot, I think. Hit them just right to wipe out both models. Yeah, Metal Zero is down to just a scout squad. Was not expecting that shot to come in and wipe out both of those guys. I think he expected to have to be able to have one model there shooting the missile launcher one more time. 3-3-1 three, three, to 2-7-9. Can't take those kinds of risks in Dawn of War 2. Units can die in a flash. Level 7 Lord Commissar gets the cap. Warlock there trying to fight him. Got the Cloak of Shadows and does go tier 3 finally. Land Raider Phobos on the way for Exterminatus. And there is the Land Raider Redeemer. Needs some more repairs. But it's still going. Good barrage again by the Dreadnought. Level 5 Force Commander has found the Havocs. Boom, and that's what your Thunderhammer does. Awesome disruption. Melted Gun Tech Marine with Signum and Orbs. Gets the Orbs away but goes down. That might get a kill. Orbs completely disables the vehicle. Also completely drains energy so it does have other non-anti-vehicle applications. Surely they've got this double missile tax. And Melter Melter from the Land Raider. Down goes that Lehman Russ. This turret is still here. Also have an auto cannon from the heavy weapon squad. Metal Zero going for a Predator tank. Red team flooding the mid. Lobbing up rope. This is nuke bait right here. Two to one cap now, a one to one. And look at this. Sorcerer's getting a decap on that side. Can the Fire Dragons do some work here? Wraith Cannon's getting shots in. There we go. Look at the damage onto the Lehman Russ. They're really taking their anti vehicles seriously now, the red team. Look at that. Another Force Commander goes... Uh, well, the same Force Commander goes down. But that Battle Cry buff is insane. Maybe that was a tactical death there. Land Raider Phobos with all the last cannons that you want. And a Storm Bolter and Twin Link Tele Bolter too. Don't think you want to get close to it, Mr. Predator Tank. Look at that. Half the hit points gone on those rear armor hits. Don't get greedy. Don't try and chase it. Now you've got level 4 missile launch attacks and level 3 missile launch attacks. These Marcos each guys need to get on those tactical marines. Orb throw. Tech marine goes down throwing it again. What might set up a kill here. 2 to 1. Phobos is walked out to safety. Nicely done by Exterminatus. Global ability there of the Sorcerer. And look at this. They might get the Land Raider Edema. Can Alaska going to get a shot? It can. Down it goes. Big win for the blue team. Here is an auto cannon. It switched sides a little bit. Decap from the Guardsman. Well done, fellas. Under assault cannon fire. Can't be easy. Oh, can I get a Dreadnought now? No. Last cannon is forced off. Is this some Terminators? It is. We've got some Deathwing Terminators in here from Metal Zero. Storm Bolters and Power Fist. They're going for a heavy flamer. And this guy super died. Who was that? It's a Lord General. What was he doing there? Orbital Bombardment. Just to stop the cap. All of this for some cars. And does it stop the cap even? It didn't. How did it not stop the cap? Did one model stay in there somehow? We can get it right back. There we go. Okay. Fire Prism for Pacifist, who has tons of resources and tons of red. St. Kelly going back on the Lehman Russ bandwagon. And Baneblade for an air. Hasn't been super careful with his vehicle so far, so we'll see how that goes. I think he's lost a couple of Chimeras, hasn't he? Warlock getting a revive. Should level him up. There we go. Tech Marine's back to his feet. It's a very useful Tech Marine as well. Signum and Orbs gives a lot to your team. Scout's getting some repairs done. 317 to 196 on the victory points. 
there's that heavy flame of doing work. And they have power fist room where you can force melee combat. There we go. Smack, smack, smack. Somehow didn't get... Oh, there we go. They did get a model. Can the blue team get back on the mid? There's the Bane Blade. They have some anti-vehicle though. Fire Dragon is the level 3 Wraith God with Wraith Bone. Fire Prison for long range shootings. Power Fists. Predator Tank. A Laz Cannon. And all those, those double missile launchers as well. It's a lot of stuff against the Bane Blade. Gonna need a hell of a lot of support. 293 to 196. They still have this power. Looks like Red Team are not too bothered about it. Drop Pod. With more tactical marines. Pacifist. Still not spending those resources. Could get an avatar up. And some fire dragons have been caught. Down they go. Phobos has been repaired up a little bit. It looks like they're going for it now. Wraith Guard are targeting what? The Lehman Russ? They are running away. And we got some. Chaos Terminators in here for Exterminators. The auto cannon is already in. Pretty good anti-everything weapon. Blue team are defending that VP. Fire Prism wants to stay back. Predator Tank needs to get back. It gets the Phobos, but does not survive. Big old firefight here. Bane Blade starts to take damage. Was that an orb? Or was it a Melter Bomb? There's an orb going in. Bane Blade can't fire back right now. Uh oh. Terminator's pulled in. Going for their Power Fist. These are Dragonis. Bane Blade can be very vulnerable to heavy melee because it's so slow and big. There's lots of space on the rear to get several troops lined up. And smacking on that rear armor. 293 to 158. Tactical Marines grabbing the mid. A good push through by the red team. Did not get the Bane Blade though, I don't think. What is this guy doing? Get out of there, Dreadnought. St. Kelly going for Executioner again. Surprised we just haven't seen all Vanquishers here. Terminators did not drop a model, but I got pretty close. Oh, maybe they are going to get this Dreadnought. Auto Cannon is chasing it. Last Cannon is trying to move up. Nothing to teleport this thing away. Survives, though. A little bit of a distraction there from the Tactical Marines is enough. Two to one cap. See, if that was a Vanquisher Lehman Russ, they would have got that Dreadnought for sure. Cyclone Missile Launcher on the Terminators. Another Chaos Predator on the way. Now it's Blue Team having to recover. Some more guards on the floor in air. Almost got the decap. Why did that stuff get knocked over? I don't know. Oh, was it Cyclone Missile Launcher coming in or something? It seemed like the, the Destructor knocked them over there. It's not what a Destructor does. It's a good rocket run. A really good rocket run. So much death. Terminator has tanked it. Lord Commissar's on them and now Executioner. This is where it shines. If any heavy infantry gets close to it, so much DPS. Cyclone Missile Launcher almost finishes it off. 21 hit points. That was so close. And the Terminator didn't drop a model there. And then killed the Lord Commissar. Bane Blade is back. 253 to 158. One to one cap. Maybe it's time for Exterminators to go quite hard on this victory point here. There's that Dreadnought is back. Level four Havocs. The Lord General's at level six. Got his flat jacket. None of his other retinue guys are alive at the moment. Some Kashakin for St. Kelly. They've already got some up as well with plasma guns. 247 to 158. Bane Blade can easily outshoot a Dreadnought with an Assault Cannon. But can it do it quick enough? Because that's an orb going in again 
from the Tech Marine is taking the last kind of shots as well. A bunch of repairs going in. Those Deathwing Terminators with their heavy flamer having to escape. We've got a Mark of Noble Predator tank. Red Team have them in. Need to come in. Oh. Imperial Abyss from Exterminatus. Trying to catch the Tactical Marines, which now need to take the long way around. There's an Eldritch from Pacifist. Oh, it's a really good one. Look at the death. Bane Blade is now a sitting duck. Good nuke from Pacifist has a deep cannon on the field now. Needs to spend more resources though. Bane Blade lives. Somehow it lives. Needs to move, buddy. Wow, how did it survive? Bunch of Guardsmen died. I don't think any of them wiped out though. I think about 20 Guardsmen models died, but the squad survived. There's that Mark of Noble crap from the tank there. Oh. Oh, I thought it was the Bane Blade. That was a Dreadnought going down. Why would you chase it? St. Kelly's lagging, apparently. This map can play havoc on your frame rate when all of this terrain scarring goes down. It's the same with all the maps, but these meat grinder ones suffer the most. So much crap goes on in one place. Terminator's being chased. Sorcerer now teleports onto the D cannon. Another land raider redeemer here for Metal Zero. Pacifist still floating resources like absolutely crazy. Level 4 Wraith Guard. Oh, Bane Blade was got. What got it? It was these guys. Probably a Cyclone Missile Launcher shot. They had to teleport in to get it though, I think. Can they get away now? Plasma Gun Kashikin doing some work. These guys don't have an upgrade though. 208 to 123. Dragonis did get the Bane Blade and Terminators live. The teleport was off cooldown, it turns out. Blue team get the mid for a triple. There's the triple cap, 208 to 102. Some seer council on the way now for pacifist. Not sure that's that's what you want right now. But multiple fire prisms, multiple D cannons. Keep it simple. We'll see how they do. But there was the warlock. Level 10 warlock. He's done some work here. Warp throw. Immolator now gives you damage over time on your range attack, I think. Which seems pretty mental. Maybe that's how he's getting so much XP. 2 to 1 cap here. Red team running out of time. There's your land raider. This time it's a fancy dark angel colored one. Not sure if they have special names for their land raiders. Frag Assault doesn't really hit that much and here comes the Log Commissar. He's ready to smack some stuff. Level 10. Some really weird attack animations this guy. He does like a power claw backhand or something. Still the 2 to 1. Blue team trying to consolidate in the mid. Here come the Seer Council. Great unclean one on the way for Exterminators. It's a squad of Warlocks with power melee weapons that can all jump on you. There we go. They'll tear through those Guardsmen. That's an Orbital. From Dragonis, I think. And an Eldritch from Pacifist. Really don't like these Guardsmen. Steal with a 2-1 though. Look at that. Terminator's getting on the mid. Mark of Nurgle tank survives for now. Land Raider just perched up there. Wants to guard that VP, I guess. A late Chimera from in it. They want that infield reinforcement, I guess. It is a big plus. Sorcerer level 7. Look at Pacifist's resources float here. That's an insane float. That's a creeping barrage. I thought that was a rocket run for a second. 203 to 13. 2 to 1 cap for the red team here. Uh oh, Land Raider might have got too close. 
to anti-vehicle weaponry. Having to teleport in the Terminator trying to save it. Need to keep moving back, buddy, I think. Just hanging out there. Terminator's going for a cap on the mid. One to one. 195 to 13. Great unclean one is on the field, not moving though. Need cover, says Dragonis. These terminators, I think, are dead. Maybe. Can a tank keep chasing them? 200 hit points, they live for now. Got the health regen from the land raider there. Still being chased. Oh, the, the Predator tank backed off there for a moment. I think that's going to... Yeah, look, they reinforced, I think. Oh, not quite yet. I think they reinforced and then immediately lost the model again. 168 to 13, double cap by the Reds. I was not expecting this late comeback. I thought they were done for. See, Council's still around. Coming back to the mid. Wraith got it done super well. And so is this Mark of Noble Predator tank. I've seen a lot of these guys doing some good work, these Mark of Noble fellas. Great and Kimon getting stuck in. Super unit for chaos. Passively damages nearby enemies. And there's some nasty combat abilities too. Gonna tear down those Deathwing Terminators if they're not careful. Teleporting back to reinforcement range there. Chaos Terminator is going for a cat. Force Commander coming in with his Thunder Hammer. He's also got Alacrity. And kills him. I'm not sure why that one died first. I guess it got shot by a Storm Bolt or something. Meanwhile in the mid. It's uncapped. Lord Kamosa going for it. 140 to 11. It's going to be pretty close. Stubbornness healing it up like crazy. But now Seer Council are on him. Yeah, he's just getting chain knocked back here. Oh, now they switched targets. To the Kashikin. I guess they were doing too much damage to him. Lord Komasa goes back to the cap. Meanwhile, Red Team are holding their natural for now. Great and Clean One's probably going to be warped out if he gets into trouble here. There's that Nurgle Vomit. Could chase things into base if we wanted to. Because of that warp force commander is not going to have much luck. Thunder Hammer versus a Mark of Noble Predator tank. That thing has melee resistance. Oh, there's the game. Blue team had a 2 to 1 at the end. A pretty mental one. What is that with these heroes? Level 7 Sorcerer. Level 10 Lord Commissar. Level 9 Lord General. Level 10 Warlock. Those guys were level 10 for ages as well. Level 7 force commander was going for the power fist at the end. And a level 9 tech marine. There you have it, guys. Not the highest level game ever. I think Pacifist in particular was relatively new. But hey, held their own at the end. There you have it, guys. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time.